Hi, I'm Bridget and I work here at Buckhead Facial Plastic Surgery. I'm a registered nurse here. I do injectables, threads, and I run a lot of our lasers, especially the more aggressive lasers, um, including Profound, which we're gonna talk about today, and CO2 and the vaginal rejuvenation. So Profound is microneedling with radio frequency. It's good for um, patients. Some patients wanna use it for maintenance, um, before they ever really actually have any sagging and bagging or texture issues, um, loose skin, but most patients that come are noticing texture changes in the neck, which is one of the main reasons we got profound. We felt like we had a gap in what we could provide for necks and it filled that gap and it improves texture and it helps to tighten. But not only the neck, it helps to tighten and lift the jaw, the brow, the upper lip, it's actually FDA approved to treat anywhere on the body. So if you have a little laxity on your belly or thighs, it can help to tighten that area as well. Profound is you just do one treatment. Other microneedling RF platforms will tell you to do three, but this is a bipolar, a little more aggressive. It's a bipolar radio frequency treatment. Okay, so the difference between just microneedling and microneedling RF is pretty huge. Microneedling is usually a little pen that you know does little circles or lines on the face or whatever area of the body and it's going to stimulate collagen, it's going to help plump out fine lines, give a little bit of a lift, improve texture, but nowhere near the level that microneedling with RF can do. Um, because there's little controlled under the skin burns, that's what's going to stimulate a lot more collagen, it's going to plump the bigger lines and improve the texture that hard to improve texture, especially like you see on the neck. Um, and it's going to lift. It's like regular microneedling on steroids. One downside about Profound that you know a lot of people are a little leery of is the numbing process. And I'll tell you kind of how we numb our patients. We do a topical first for about 15 to 20 minutes, and then we actually inject lidocaine with sodium bicarb to help break some of the burn into the area that's going to be treated. It is a lot of shots. So for those patients that know that they cannot handle that level of pain or that many injections, we do offer anesthesia at a very affordable rate, an hourly rate, and we have an anesthesiologist on staff that will be there monitoring the patient to make sure things are safe and done correctly. A lot of people want to know about the downtime involved with the profound treatment. We typically say five to seven days, but some people, if, if you are one of these people that hold on to bruises a little longer than others, um, it could stretch out to 10 days. Um, but mostly the swelling is gone by day five and some most of the lingering bruises are gone by day seven. So honestly, winter is a great time. Truthfully, COVID has been a great time for people to hide because the mask covers a lot of the area that most people choose to treat. If you're interested in learning more about Profound, you can visit our website or give our office a call.